Hallo, hallo, Mike, Test. Hello financial programmers, I'm Ritwik Dashora and I'm back with a new video and some new learnings. In the last playlist, we covered everything that you guys should know about MT5 and Python integration. We saw how MT5 can be integrated with PineScript TradingView and also extracted the real-time pricing data from MT5 to Python and then made a trading bot. We all know that it's an earning season. So yes, in this video, we are going to see how to do simple sentiment analysis of earnings called transcript. Here we'll be talking about a python library called text blob and i'll be using the same data provider api which is financial modeling prep i made an entire playlist on financial modeling prep i highly recommend you guys to watch it so yeah, i'll be using the same data provider here to extract the earnings information and then we'll build a model on the top of it using text blob to do some simple sentiment analysis if you guys are new to my YouTube channel, guys, on this channel, I turn all my viewers to successful financial programmers. Here I upload videos related to trading bots, implementation of AI in finance, exploring some highly valuable finance APIs, making some PineScript trading strategies, etc, etc. So if this is something that you're interested in, then you should just click on the subscribe button and also hit on the bell icon because there are a lot of playlists that I upload on this channel and there are a lot of things that are going to be uploaded very soon and everything is for free. It is just one click to you guys but uh, it matters a lot to me the topics that we are going to cover today are as we know that we are going to do sentiment analysis on earnings called transcript but uh, i will uh, be exploring some other things related to earnings as well things like earnings calendar earnings surprises and then we'll also will be extracting the earnings called transcript again we'll be doing everything from financial modeling prep api the second task is to uh, explore text blob python package uh, then we'll be building a python code on earnings calendar and earnings surprises then we'll be building a sentiment analysis python model on multiple stocks using fmp and text blob and in the end we'll be creating a final data frame of polarity of transcripts so yes that's all that we are going to cover today so without any further ado let's start so yes guys this is the documentation of financial modeling prep if you are interested to get some additional discount then uh, click on the link that is uh, present in the description box and then get the subscription from that you'll get you'll be getting a 20 percent additional discount okay guys so the earnings calendar api this api basically gives information about the earnings report that comes four times a year and you can see the data would be like this we'll be having the date symbol EPS, which is earnings per share, uh, will be getting the actual EPS, EPS estimated for the next period, time, revenue, revenue estimated, updated date from and fiscal date ending. So we'll be getting all this data anyways in Python. So let's talk about it later while we build the Python code. The second thing is the earnings surprises API. So here the JSON output will be like this, uh, which is the actual earnings result and the estimated earnings. So if there is a negative earnings surprise, then there's a possibility that the share price might go down and if the, there's a positive earning surprise then in that case it might go up it all depends on the market as well because sometimes this earning surprise uh, gets reflected in the market much before the earnings release so yeah and the last but not the least uh, we will be e uh, extracting information of earnings called transcript and uh, this is basically uh, these types of things where uh, we can actually read it properly but uh, what we'll be doing here is we'll be using text blob uh, sentiment analysis python package to understand the polarity of this particular text or transcript. Uh, we are just trying to understand is it positive, negative or neutral, right? There's a great uh, blog by FMP only, which is on earnings called Natural Language Processing Analysis. You can just go through it. I'll uh, paste the link in the description box. You can see they have actually given a very detailed analysis of how you can do sentiment analysis in a deeper level. In this video, we are using text blob for a simple sentiment analysis. But if you want to go deep into the, uh, into, into the sentiment analysis, then you guys should follow this blog. It's really really helpful again i'll be pasting the links of all these urls uh, down below in the description box you can just click on that the last thing is the text blob uh, python package that we are going to use so text blob is basically uh, it aims to provide access to common text processing operations through a familiar interface you can treat text blob object as if they were python strings 
that learn how to do natural language processing. So basically, this is a Python package which is which is built on the top of natural language processing. NLP, which is natural language processing, is basically the the technique uh, that we use to do sentiment analysis or to understand or to do an, any analysis on a text. This Python package is built on the top of NLP technology, right? So we'll be exploring all the different types of things of this particular library. And then this is a sentiment analysis. This is something that we'll explore a bit in detail. Perfect, guys. So let's jump to our Python code. I'm using Google Colab here. You guys can use VS Studio or Jupyter Lab as well. So yeah, uh, in order to install text blob, uh, you can just uh, do it through pip install text blob. You can just copy it and paste it here and then run it. But uh, Google Colab actually has it as a default Python package. So you don't need to install it uh, at Google Colab. But for VS Studio or Jupyter Lab, I think uh, mostly you'll have to install it first. So I'll uh, directly, I'm actually getting this text blob uh, Python package in the code. I'm importing it from text blob, import text blob. Let's run it. Uh, suppose let's uh, start with the earnings calendar API. If you scroll down a bit, you'll see there's a URL here. There's an API key that I'll definitely hide while editing this video. So let's just copy this and paste it here, right? I have deleted the API key here. Let me uh, provide the API key here se separately. Then here I'll just provide an F string and I'll just write API key, right? I will uh, paste my API key here, run this cell and then delete that API key again because I don't want to show it publicly. Perfect, I have uh, pasted my API key here and uh, deleted it again, but now it is saved inside it. So API key is uh, one of the variable here. Second thing is uh, ticker. So let's see, let's do it for MSF, which is Microsoft, right? Uh, I will just provide a ticker here inside the curly brackets, right? And that's it. Uh, thirdly, I uh, will have to uh, import the requests library. I'm actually using the normal requests library, library to extract uh, all the information in this URL in the JSON format. So import requests, ticker is this one. And uh, the data is requests.get URL and then .json. Let's run this. Let's see what is data. You'll see there's a lot of uh, data that uh, we can see here. Uh, let me do one thing. I import pandas as PD as well. And uh, let's convert it. Let's start to convert it directly in the pandas data frame format. So data frame and then inside parenthesis data. Let's see what is the final result. Perfect. So basically what all information we have, if you remember here also it mentioned, which is date, symbol, EPS, EPS uh, estimated and so on. Uh, exactly all these information is available here for MSFT, which is Microsoft date. And you can see that we can, uh, we can see some future dates as well, which is 2024, July, 2024, April, April and so on. These are the expected earnings uh, date of uh, Microsoft, right? EPS of these future dates is of course not available, but if you can see uh, this one, which is July, 2023, you can see the EPS data is available, right? And revenue is also available, estimated revenue uh, and so on. So that's uh, uh, about uh, the EPS calendar. Let's quickly see the uh, earnings surprise as well. So this is the URL for earnings surprise, which I copied from this one that I showed you before. And uh, let's m let me just uh, directly uh, copy this code here. Let's see what is the data. Perfect. We again have a lot of data. I will directly try to make it a data frame again. I have already imported uh, pandas library, so I don't need to do it again. So pandas dot data frame and then inside parenthesis data. Okay. Okay. There's a spelling mistake here. Let me just run it again and let's see what is DF. Perfect. So we have got a very simple looking data frame for earnings surprises as well. You can see all the dates. Uh, the last one is of July 2023 as we saw here as well. The last data is as of July 2023, which is 25th of July 2023. And the earnings, actual earnings result is uh, EPS result is basically 2.69, but uh, the estimated was 2.55. So you can see there's a positive earnings surprise. And I think at that time, there might be some uh, positive moment uh, in the share price as well. But again, yeah, only if uh, the market has not anticipated it before the earnings declaration. Perfect. Now let's move to the third and the most important part of this video, which is uh, extracting the earnings call transcript and then doing the basic sentiment analysis. Before that, guys, I have a very important information to share. Recently, I launched a course on uh, Python for financial programming. So if you are trying to learn Python for finance from scratch, then this is something that you might be interested in. Just go to my website, which is fpredwick.com slash Python over here you will see two buttons Indian candidates non-Indian candidates so you can click as per your uh, location 
it will redirect you to this the main website where the entire course information is available you'll see that uh, there are five sessions 10 chapters 22 videos 10 quizzes and three assignments with two live projects and uh, uh, this is the entire syllabus of this course for all the people who are interested to learn python from scratch and who are struggling learning python on their own i highly recommend it because uh, it's very very affordable and i have covered a lot of things from a very very simplistic eyesight and in the end in session four and five you'll see stock analysis and investment portfolio creation projects which are my personal projects we did it using some financial analysis if you use rtk40 code uh, you'll get an instant 40 percent discount which is only available for the first 100 candidates so yes guys i'll see you in the course let's come back to our code right so this is the url for the earnings call transcript i will provide my api key here API key i am using the, the f string again here i'll just provide the ticker here and let's uh, create a couple of more parameters to include so quarter i can see there is a quarter here which is three and then year which is 2023 20, i'll change this by the parameter quarter i should write the correct spelling and this one is year perfect what else i think that's it and um, i'll use the uh, requests library again here let's see what is the final output data perfect so this is the entire transcript uh, but i i'm actually interested to see is it in the json format it's in the, it's in the list format so let's uh, what let's see what is the length of this list ah, it's just one so there's just one data point inside the list so it doesn't matter uh, if you have the list or not now i think it's a dictionary yeah it's a dictionary now and actually i'm only interested in content so i will provide another square bracket and then now this is the content perfect so this is the data that i'm interested in right now let's come to our text blob uh, um, documentation from text blob import text blob i think i've already done it but let me do it again right and here this is the sentiment analysis i'll just uh, copy this entire thing and uh, let's just paste it here just to understand what do we have so this one is i think the output and this is the one. so perfect so uh, this is our text right and in this case this is the text so i'll i will just uh, replace this one the the text inside it with the text that we have right testimonial is equal to blob and this one and the testimonial dot sentiment dot polarity so this is the sentiment of this particular text which is uh, basically polarity is around 0.13 subjectivity is 0.39 so polarity is basically the parameter uh, which uh, ranges from minus one to one and subjectivity ranges from zero to one and polarity is basically uh, the the higher the number the positive the earnings call transcript is so if it is close to one then it is a very positive earnings call transcript and if it is very close to minus one then it's a very negative one subjectivity is basically the the opinion that we have in any particular text right so the uh, the higher the opinion that we have in any text the higher the number so um, actually I'm not interested in subjectivity so I'm only interested in polarity so I'll just write dot polarity right I'm I just want to see if it is close to one or minus one so in this case it's a positive number which is 0.13 not a very big positive number but still it's a positive number it, it means that the earnings call transcript was positive but again guys it's not a recommendation or investment advice from my side it's just a very basic uh, sentiment analysis that I'm doing that you guys can use for your school projects but definitely you uh, will have to do a lot of uh, additional analysis before putting your real money into it right now let's do one thing I'll just uh, copy and paste it here now let's do one thing let's make for loop for multiple tickers here right so let me just write ticker list is equal to these are the 10 tickers Apple Microsoft Tesla Ford Morgan Stanley Google Meta which is Facebook Goldman Sachs uh, Pfizer and Exxon Mobil. So these are the different uh, stocks from different industries that I took. I am also interested to make a final polarity data frame. So I'll start with having an NMT data frame, right? So this is the one and then, so this data frame will have the tickers and the polarity. 
right so actually i can uh, provide the tickers directly here by providing the ticker list in the tickers column uh, now to make the polarity list i will have to have an empty list which will be appended in the for loop perfect so this is an empty list now for ticker in ticker list let's indent it inside this there is a ticker then uh, data and testimonial and uh, we have the polarity so i'll just write polarity here polarity is equal to this one and then in the end we will append the polarity list with all the different polarities that we get yeah so we will keep on extending the list that we have and then final thing would be to actually make another column of polarity uh, in the data frame that we have created which is actually polarity list so let's see i hope i have not made any mistake here so let me just run it okay there's a list of uh, uh, index out of range so most probably uh, one of the tickers uh, transfer script is not available for the third quarter let me just do it for second quarter and let's see what's the final result perfect i didn't get any uh, errors i think by the time you will try i think quarter 3 would also be working so what's the final po uh, polarity df you can see uh, all the tickers on the left hand side and the polarity which is the second column i can see that google and exxon mobil have the highest polarity Uh, number here but yeah this is how we can actually do some simple sentiment analysis by extracting the earnings call transcript earnings surprises and earnings calendars information from financial modeling prep and using text blob sentiment analysis python package if you guys didn't write the code with me it's absolutely fine guys uh, i think most of my subscribe subscribers already know that i share my google drive access with my google drive community members so um, for the new people um, guys i will save this particular code in my google drive and that google drive has many more codes and study materials that you guys can use for your personal projects in order to become a google drive community member just uh, uh, search financial programming with rithvik go to my youtube channel and over here it uh, like youtube has recently removed the buttons section section here there were some buttons uh, which were available here but it's absolutely fine just go to the about section and click on this access to my google drive link over there just follow some uh, basic steps and you'll see that uh, the entire google drive cost is less than a coffee price and this is how you guys will be supporting me as well if you guys liked even one thing about this video guys please click on the like button it's free for you but it really matters a lot to me and also click on the subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on the future free educational content the next uh, videos would be uh, a playlist on eod hd api i got many requests on the comment section of some videos on exploring eod hd api as well so we'll be making some models out of it if you guys want me to work on your project then please reach out to me on this email address and uh, i will respond as soon as possible i have a team now with me who will help you guys to uh, build your projects at a very small cost the link of my course is in the description section thank you so much guys for watching this video till the end you can click here to subscribe to my youtube channel over there you'll see the playlist of fmp which is financial modeling prep and over there you'll see the trading bot that i created on python using md5 i'll see you in the next video next saturday until then peace